I don't understand this line at all. Can someone just send me the head? I managed to collect all of the dolls uh, from G1. Hello, amazing ghouls and humans, and yes, that's me. And I am also still in disbelief that I am recording something for you. But I just kind of couldn't leave you without a small Christmas gift, so I decided to record one more ranking. And what can be better than ranking an Abbey doll during the Christmas time, during the winter time? I guess that this atmosphere just suits her the best, and quite coincidentally, I managed to collect all of the Abbey dolls uh, from G1 and all of the fashion packs. So let's begin. First of all, I guess I need to say that Abby is one of my favorite characters and I adore her in the movie. I really like her character. I really like her voice. I like how she is able to simplify everything and doesn't like um, spending too much time on drama and uh, she is able to find solution in almost every situation and she is able to keep herself down to earth and stay calm. That's amazing and I really like her uh, chemistry with heat and I guess if at some point I will make a ranking of a Monster High couples, which I would really really want to do, I will talk more about it. But so far, let's begin with our dolls. 16th place goes to Abby Geek Shriek. Well, first of all, I will just say about the line overall. I don't really understand the idea of it. Like, why did they just decide to make all of the characters uh, stereotypical hipsters and make monsters who don't really have eye problems to wear glasses. Um, I mean, I think that the only two characters who really fits in this line are Gule and Holin, and they look the best here. The rest? Well, they are very strange. And I mean, if you have more info about the lore or something, just don't hesitate sharing it with me, but I just don't understand Geek Shriek at all. And about the looks, like, obviously she looks just too simple. And if this simplicity would be based on some, like, character line or something else, understandable. But here I just, I don't understand this line at all. So I'm sorry, you're fine, but you're going to the last place in our ranking list. The 15th place goes to a bit that tired and yes, I know that a lot of people actually really really like this doll but let me explain myself here. When I think of Abby in uh, that tired line, for some reason I think of something more cozy and furry and warm because it would make sense probably she have to sleep in quite cold um, atmosphere and for me it's just doesn't really ring the bell why they just give you this cutie little sleep dress which I also think don't really fit her personality that much because for some reason again when I think of Abby in that third line I think of her wearing some pants or I don't know maybe even some Kigurumi hoodie thing so yeah for me it's just a bit out of character maybe if she would at least have like a leg warmers or something it would be very nice because I would really like to see this clash of, you know, cold environment outside and very warm winter pyjamas for her. And another thing that I don't really like is that she has a nice cream 
with her again as a character i think it would be very cool if she would have a diary again with a small lock and a small key maybe because it would just fit her personality and another question that i always had like where is her crystal where is her crystal because from what i remember according to the story she should wear it um not to get into trouble but in this outfit she doesn't have any crystal and it's just very weird so yeah sadly almost the last place but i but i still really like her and yeah the entire line is very nice and the next one is Abby Scaris. Uh, and I really, really like this doll. And this doll is very sentimental for me because she was a present from my friend and I, I really, really like her. Um, but if we are talking about design, for me, she is just run of the mill. Uh, she's not bad, but she's not good either. That's like a good basic quality of the doll of that time, but nothing extraordinary. I think she's also like the doll with which I at some point got a little bit overfed with, just because she was all around the stores and nobody wanted her and we would have like the entire shelves just of Abby dolls and some of them were already like in destroyed box and that was only her like her and Draculaura um, and yeah I guess that's also the reason why she is so down but yeah she's not bad she's just she just exists I guess the cursed 13th place goes to the cursed festival Abby I don't know what's going on with this happy for me but it's actually the third time i'm buying her and the third time when she comes to me being in a very bad condition the first time i bought her i bought her uh second hand but she was in the box and basically i overpaid for the box because the seller said that she had never been removed from the box but when i got her i realized that a she was in fact removed from the box and b her hair was completely burned and the sad thing that she had such a pretty face but her hair was just i don't know what was going on with her like who could destroy her like this i got so sad because i paid like a lot for her much more than i could and i found another abby and I bought her and she came with a very 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 yellowed body and with Abby it's very difficult to get rid of the yellowness because she has the um, glitter all over her body and when I tried to do it basically the glitter came off and the body was destroyed and the third time I'm buying her and she's coming with a burnt hair again. Like, can someone just send me the head? I am so tired of this war with this doll. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, let's now talk about her design. And I mean, I really like her. She's fine, not the best, not the worst. It's very interesting that she doesn't have any tinsel and I remember that some people loved her for this. For me, I mean, I like when Abby has tinsel, so yeah. I'm not a fan of this um, headpiece, uh, but I understand that it's like with her style. And yeah, the idea of leg bracelets are fine. Really like it. Uh, she has different textured fabric which is sadly not something that we see so often today so yeah but 
The curse of this abyss hits me hard. <laughs> Next one is Coffin Bean AB. To be honest, Coffin Bean is one of my favorite lines. I adore all of the dolls from it. I really like that uh, they all have darker colors in their color schemes. And just this idea with small mugs representing of each character and yeah yes they are very simple but with this simplicity you see a lot of details you see that for example her dress is made from three completely different fabrics which we again don't really see much often nowadays and she has a small bracelet she has uh, the belt she has everything a good like slim box doll should have and i guess she is just not so mainstream as scariest so maybe that's why in my list she is a little bit higher i also adore her light almost like translucent makeup as if she doesn't have any and she's just she's just so pretty i really glad that i managed to find her because in my country it's not very easy um yeah, now I'm just searching for Venus. I guess that's the only doll that I still need to get. And the 11th place goes to Abby uh, from the pack with Heat. To be honest, I'm not sure why she's so high in the list, because I basically don't really have much to say about her even. Like, yeah, she's fine. She is very beautiful, but she is nothing like sentimental to me, or I can say that I adore her look. She's just, yeah, she's just a nice doll. I might admit that her outfit is very detailed, especially for, again, like a pack doll, um, especially as the pack was mostly intended to be representing uh, the heat. Uh, his first doll, I guess. Yes. Uh, she still has a lot of fabrics in her outfit. She has this small fur that I really like. And she is well um, accessorized and well equipped with everything that she needs for cooking. Um, she has her crystal. She has um, ruffles on the apron, which is a nice detail that they could not add, but they did, and that's wonderful. Um, I really like her shoes, though. They look like candies, and that's, again, like very nice that they uh, color the accents. So, yeah, a nice doll. Oh, and I just noticed, I've never noticed that she has a small uh, ribbon bow here. And, yeah, it's a nice detail. I like her. Yeah, now when I'm talking about her with you, I, I guess I started to like her more and I now see why I put her on 11th place. But yeah, let's go to the next place. The next place goes to Roller Maze Abby. And to be honest, it's very sad to me that I have to put her so kind of low in the list. But basically, I guess from this place, all of the dolls could just go to the first place because it's so difficult to decide but we kind of have to let's be honest like almost all of the happy dolls they are so beautiful they are so well balanced and well colored yes they don't really have much variations in their makeup and stuff but they are still they are still so good okay back to roller maze abby i really like the simplicity of this line uh, in fact, that here, this is what I call simplicity that can be understood. Because, of course, you are not expecting the sport doll to be well accessorized or having some, like, very complicated outfit. Because they are doing sports. But with this, you see that her outfit is detailed. She has, again, three fabrics. She has her knee protection, she has her helmet, she has everything she needs. 
so yeah she is amazing and i really really happy to have her just realized that i forgot to put her necklace on her her crystal literally me talking about crystal in some abyss a few minutes ago and forgetting to put it on her oh my god but now she's safe and the ninth place goes to art class abby yes i'm showing you two because one of them is, is a prototype but yeah for me this is very underrated line and very underrated doll i remember people really hating on her which was for me like for no reason she's so amazing i really really like her makeup I really like that she has blue eyeshadow, dark blue eyeshadow, so when you put on her glasses, you can still see her eyes. That's very nice. As she wasn't very popular, even now I guess you can still get her by a very reasonable price, which is very nice for this quality of the doll. Um, and what I also really like about her that uh, they are all unique. Their print is very unique. Like you can get the one that will have both blue and pink. You can get one that will com be completely like in the pink dress or in completely blue dress. And that's like, that's so nice. You can get your own, you can choose your own. And as I mentioned, I have a prototype. Um, I'm not sure like is it a sample or what is it? Like, it's not a hand-painted doll. Um, that's basically the doll that even has the kind of uh, box holding things. But it's still not the retail one. And um, she has a blue belt instead of the white one. And to be honest, I'm, I prefer the blue belt a little bit more than the white one. I'm not sure why they change it for white. I really wonder what is the story behind this prototype. Talking about her dress a little bit more, uh, to be honest for me it was a bit of a challenge to find um, the doll with a perfect uh, dress because I first got a prototype and I really wanted the retail doll to look as close to the prototype as possible so I was searching for the doll in the dress that would look alike and i think i kind of succeeded in it well pretty much at least it has two colors and yeah but i really like them both and the next place goes to sculpture sebi and sadly this is the only um beach line abby that we got which is very sad. I would really like to see her, for example, in swim class line. But anyway, she is so perfect. Like, I love her appearance so much. I really like her outfit and this wonderful head. It just stands out. Like, when you look at the sculpture's shelf, you first see Abby and her amazing, amazing head. I really like that she's so detailed. She has so many small parts that you just can observe more and more. For example, this small crystal um, on her swimsuit or small snowflakes print on her... How is it called? Parel? Mm. Yeah. And another good thing for me is that she has Chinese version of the face. I really, really prefer it over the Indonesian one. This place goes to... Go I forgot! I forgot how she's called. Got that gorgeous drop the... Oh god, what I mean! <laughs> Sorry, it's very difficult to pronounce when it's already 3 a.m. <laughs> but yeah, Oh my god, I adore this doll. She could easily be in the first place, but like we still have to do the ranking. She is so wonderful, she is so beautiful, and sadly uh, they didn't sell 
this pack in my country so we in my area she's like very very rare and we didn't get much of her only from the foreign resellers so when i managed to find this pack when i managed to find them in a box it was so amazing i was not believing that i will get them like i remember waiting for that uh parcel and being in such a nave because child as a teenager when monster high was still in stores i would never think that i will get this back at some point her appearance like her look she's so feminine yet so characteristic um and just say to me that i am not the only one who sees the kind of a christmas tree in her um dress stating the uh, form and the snowflakes <laughs> Maybe I'm just too crazy. Oh my god, the shoes. The shoes, I I'm sorry, excuse the dust, it's so dusty here. But the shoes, they are so amazing. The mold, this is how Monster High shoes should look like. The next place goes to 13 Wishes Abby. Oh my god, I love her. She's so beautiful. For a very long time, she was my favorite Abby doll in my collection. And for sure, to this day, she is my favorite doll from the uh, 13 Wishes line. She just looks like a, an incredibly beautiful butterfly or dragonfly with her, this kind of complex looking dress, form and the fabric. Oh my god, just look on the gradient, on the angles of her dress. It's go into the light gray and talking about detailization just look at how many layers her skirt has hope you will see it but yeah and it was very bold of Mattel to give her this gold color but it works amazing in this case at least I really like um, the mixture of light blue and this gold she is so stunning and again she is quite a sentimental doll for me because uh, at first uh, it was announced as being some kind of like a store exclusive I'm not sure if Target or Walmart or whatever and usually such dolls would not reach my area at all but at some point I was uh, walking through the toy stores and I saw the entire shelf full of these dolls and it looked like like a dream because it was all in gold and all shining and I I barely screamed to be honest it was such a moment and I grabbed basically the first one I saw um, would not uh, want to go from that store at all without this doll but yeah Next place goes to Picture Day Abby, and here I need to be honest. Um, I'm not under I can't understand why so many people don't like her. Like I've seen quite a lot of uh, rankings where people would put her so down to the list and just either say that she is basic or saying that she is ugly. But just look at her her details her amazing like aurora looking um dress her backpack that looks like a small candy and the fact that again she has the keys she has a ring she she has everything that a good doll should have and i i adore her makeup uh the colors are wonderful the position of it is wonderful and it's just I don't know I always consider her to be very pretty uh, and I'm super grateful to have her promo picture prototype with me um, first of all I really like that it's made on the uh, Chinese basic uh, Abby and her face is just so different from this one 
she's one of my favorite dolls, I guess. I also remember that wonderful story that when I got her prototype, uh, her prototype wasn't complete and I wanted to buy like a full set, the second full set Picture Day Abby to complete the prototype and I bought one and she had much more translucent accessories, the ring and uh, the backpack. Um, I'm not sure if I will be able to show it to you, but actually they are like a bit a different shade and uh, as someone who really likes versions i was in the light of getting like two different versions of the accessories even though the dolls looked basically the same indonesian version of the face and stuff and i found her so quickly so like in a week i was able to complete the prototype and they nude doll double of Picture Day Abby I uh, dressed up in one of the fashion packs and yeah it's just the perfectionistic heaven <laughs> yes and the next place goes to the unbelievably beautiful Sweet Screams Abby oh my god this doll she's so amazing like, what I adore about this line is that our characters here, they are almost unrecognizable. And this is what makes them to be this fever dream looking like characters. I love that they literally give them all um, different screening, different from what we've seen at that time. Yeah, just the entire line, I adore it. Talking about this Abby, uh, she represents an ice cream and I adore ice cream and I adore this shade of her accessories, this cyan color. Overall, she is, she is so amazing. Um, it wasn't my intention to get her an RFB, uh, I just needed her to be a full set. And to be honest, I really, really want to get her out of the box, but with this I don't want to, but with this I want to. How detailed she is, like, she has a freaking gradient on her eyebrows, I'm not sure if you will see it, but she does. And how many dolls with gradient eyebrows do we remember? Like, we're not talking about the first ever After High dolls, okay? Um... And her shoes, again, these shoes, they really remind me of something from Ever After High by the detailization. So, yeah, I'm so happy to have her and it was quite a challenge to get her because, like, at some point this line wasn't really, really um, expensive, but I waited and waited till they became very expensive. <laughs> but uh, thankfully not as expensive as they are now so now the third place and the third place goes to i love fashion abby basically the entire i love fashion line is something so unbelievably interesting first of all um the outfits have so much potential and you can really play around the pieces and complete your own um, outfits and accessorize and give the dolls um, parts of outfits from other dolls and they will look amazing. And talking about the main one, Abby, she looks so cozy in this sweater. Yes, she. you, you can say that she looks simple, but with this she has a lot of accessories and it's also very interesting to see her with such a shade of lips they are so dark violet and this color looks amazing and these are the dolls uh, that i completed the dolls uh, wearing the second and the third outfit and I, when i was choosing the outfits uh, when I was kind of completing them, I tried to base them on some of the themes. So, for example, in my story, 
This one is a look for the party, some kind of a cocktail dress party. So I added here some accessories. I added here the uh, bracelet and this fur thing from Picture Day Abbey. And she herself is a ghoul's rule base, which I still need to get another body, but I'm just too lazy to do it. Uh, and this is kind of for hiking or walking and I kind of had come on this uh, outfit to be thermal underwear I don't know, for me it just looks like this and I added her uh, the uh, white thread to kind of give her this reference to the basic doll I, I adore completing I love fashion outfits, that's kind of one of my favorite things in my collection. And the second place goes to Abby Goals Rule. And to be honest, it was such a difficult choice for me whether to put her on the first place or to the second. But yeah, I decided to go for the second place, even though it's so beautiful and definitely one of my favorite dolls in my collection. Basically not this one, but the one that is now wearing the I Love Fashion outfit, uh, ooh, the one with a broken leg. But yeah, um, go through Abby was my the first Abby doll. And again, at first she was kind of the exclusive for some kind of a store. Uh, she didn't make its way uh, to my country. I got her through someone who was going to US and this is how I ended up uh, being one of the first people in Russia having owning this doll. I remember going to the kind of a doll meetup event and I was the only one having this Abby and everyone would come to me and ask me to show her to them and saying how beautiful she was and yes in fact she's so beautiful i agree and yeah that was that was such a time that was that's such nostalgia oh my god afterwards somehow she made it to our uh store shelves in one year or something so we in fact got her in stores but i was already very happy with my doll and after my sister broke her leg yeah and I still need to replace the body. Like 10 years had passed, I already have the body, but I'm just too lazy to replace it. We need to change it. <laughs> First place, as you may or may not already guess, goes to the basic Abby. After all, I have to admit that Chinese elastic version of the basic Abby is such a perfection. Even now, when I look at her and she looks at me, I kind of feel the thrill. She's so... she's unrealistically beautiful. Everything in her, starting with this waterfall of the softest, longest and very thick hair, and ending with her big leg warmers, it's amazing. And this face... Oh my god, I adore the Chinese version of the Abby's face when she has this kind of wide eyes and semi-translucent material of the head. It's so beautiful. Just look at her. And actually, for many years, I didn't really know that versions of this Abby exist. And I kind of... Like I dreamed of Abby, I've seen pictures of her, I've seen a promo picture, I was in love with her appearance. Um, and after I got an Abby, and I just kind of could see that it was the same doll, but something in her was so much different and I couldn't figure out what. And afterwards I learned about different versions and this is how my search for the right one started. Um, and I am so happy that uh, one of my friends again like helped me to find her. Oh my god. And we found her in Germany. 
and she was in perfect condition and yeah that was such a time i'm so happy to finally have her and indonesian plastic uh joint um one i again dressed up in one of the fashion packs and by the way talking about the fashion packs i decided not to include fashion packs in the doll ranking itself because basically that's not dolls and i hold an idea that with every fashion pack you can either make a very good um, look for example adding accessories and carefully choosing a doll for which the fashion pack will be the best or you can completely destroy even the best the most pretty looking fashion pack by just choosing the wrong doll i choose dolls and accessories with a huge care sometimes it really takes me months and even years to find a decent accessories um the scariest fashion pack is the one that i've just got and i still can't really figure out how to accessorize it which accessories to add so far it's just like i just put it on a doll and try it on the unreleased uh piece that i managed to find piece that have never been released um it looks very discolorated but i am trying to play around with it and maybe i will be able to a little bit bleach it or something but talking about the fashion pack itself it's very simple but i think it's very nice uh that's the only from this line that i have so far uh but obviously i will get other soon nothing really much to talk about it yet i kind of need to personalize it and need to find decent accessories and maybe change the doll skater's outfit is so beautiful and i'm so happy that i managed to get this uh, picture day ad before it because i think that her makeup looks the best with this color scheme and kind of plays around her wonderful skates so wonderfully <laughs> i really really like the small details on her skirt and yeah i added her the necklace uh, the uh, from the i love fashion line i managed to find the double of it so i was very happy to finally complete her look that's amazing i don't know i'm just in regarding of fashion packs i am mostly just bragging about how wonderfully i created the looks how wonderfully i accessorized them but that's really something that brings me happiness in doll collecting to be able to play like in the frame of canon so but with this like creating your own looks and yeah the snowboarding abby oh my god as a child i would never think that i will get this abby this outfit i remember looking at the pictures of it and thinking that even just this top this white top would be enough because it looks so realistic it looks like something my mother would buy to me <laughs> and yeah but the entire doll she is so beautiful i again like i adore the colors i adore how they colored the basic boots here i really like this necklace again i really like the mask i left her the uh how they are called tights and the basic headpiece and i think that it just made her to look even more beautiful and her snowboard it's oh my god i adore when dolls have something translucent this translucent plastic i'm not sure what a magic about it uh for me but this just looks so nice.
and again it was very important to me to save my the first ever uh abby and kind of give her the second life even though basic one now is chinese elastic and this is indonesia plastic base so yeah as you can see it's very different from what we've seen before and one more though worth mentioning here is collector abby the doll about which i'm still not sure how i feel because that's just a weird situation well first of all i'm surprised about her prices like for some reason i for a very long time thought that no one really cares about her and now i see the different situation in my case uh i was very sad when i missed her for just 15 euros two years ago but thankfully around the same time i managed to find her yes more expensive but by the still kind of reasonable price and i thought that she as a g2 doll some people most of the people don't really prefer g2 dolls i thought that she stuck in that price but no she's so expensive now and like people you are crazy i'm sorry <laughs> but talking about her there are details about her that i really really like and there are details about her that i absolutely dislike and talking about minuses i don't like her fur i think that it would be better for it to either be white or like white with blue white with pink white with tinsels maybe all at the same time to create like an aurora look uh, to it or it would be better for it to be completely black because this black with gray i'm not sure like whether mattel was going to represent the snow that haven't melted yet on her fur or like a realistically discolored fur i'm not sure but it looks just worn out i am also not in delight from the pink mask on her eyes for me it's always kind of a weird thing to do with the um masks for example as they did with spectra in goals goals roll no oh no power goals power goals line and here the pink mask again i'm not sure maybe just without it and with brighter eyeshadow it would look better because she already have overloaded makeup mask just doesn't really look nice to me ah uh, the hair the sad part is that they started giving dolls long wonderful hair but the quality of that hair oh my god and with this particular abby even the look like it's so white that it's a kind of a cheap color of white because when you look at for example basic abby and her hair it's realistically white it's like milk white it looks more expensive it looks more realistic and here it's just it's just white um and i've seen her without the box and i know about the quality of this hair and it's very sad and again the joints when they would experiment with the, the joints but i'm not really sure how they even put such joints to the production because if you will look closer i hope you will be able to see but like the joints of her legs and arms they don't really go inside and she had this like gaps between joints and her limbs which looks so weird and she also has strange uh holes on her legs and it's not 
only my doll, that's the entire lot. But let's talk about things that I really like about her. They are in minority, but still, I really, really like her shoes. Oh my god, with this G2 childlike looking doll, we got maybe one of the most scary shoes because her shoes are literally dead um, mount shoes. It's it's amazing. It's everything, <laughs> and I'm again like I'm still debating. I want to unbox her because I unbox all of the collector dolls, but I don't want to because I will have to mess up with her hair, and she just kind of stays in her box. She's fine. Maybe she will never be out, but yeah, this is the collector Abby. Oh, okay, well, that was the ranking. I'm super happy that you watched it. If you watched it, then thank you. <laughs> uh, it is very nice to record something. It is very nice to be around my dolls again. And getting a little bit personal, to be honest, my life is a bit of a trash now and I still don't know how to figure out a lot of things that are going on that are not nice things like it is very difficult when you fight with one huge problem but imagine if you have to fight with 20 problems and you can't even prioritize them because all of them are important oh my god i already started to confuse words because that's literally 5 a.m now anyway uh and it's just a lot of things to figure out let's say there are things that i want to strive to but at the same time i understand that to reach these things i need to sacrifice much more things let's say like this and i just don't know how to figure everything out and yes being away from my collection basically being away from my sense of living makes the life to be even more difficult and i to be honest i never really thought of how how important the dolls are really for me and how they make my life easier or even like on a i don't know psychological physiological level i'm not sure how to explain it but when you wake up and you see this your day gets like 70 percent better even if there is like a completely a complete madness outside you just see them and you understand that you, you you have something to live for. You have something to work on. You have an an incredible collection. And you have you have your friends in this community. You have you have still so much more to achieve. And yeah, it it gives power and it gives the kind of the desire to leave but when you don't see them when you understand that they are far away when you constantly fighting with your parents about the fate of your collection when you don't really understand where you will be like in a few years whether you will stay in finland whether you will return back whether you will go somewhere else you don't know and again like you don't know what is better for you? You don't know where is your future. And there are still like so many things to figure out. And yeah, health problems and other issues that occur every single day. But with this, I just want to wish you the Merry Christmas and wish you a huge strength to survive the next year and i don't know i just hope that the next year will bring us 
a little bit more happiness somehow. Stay strong, stay beautiful, just stay. Goodbye.